Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. I may have underestimated the amount of people who wanted to go whale watching, friends. Uh, so, <laughs> stop fussing at me about decorations, random citizen. I'm going to be working on it. Um, this is kind of amazing. Apparently, people really, 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 really want to come and see the whale cinema. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Why not? Only 43% of the people who wanted to see it were able to go. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, hello everyone and welcome, or should I say welcome, back to our adventures here in Sudlani Beaches of Let's Build a Zoo, where there is uh, basically an endless amount of things to keep us occupied, distracted, and quite busy. However, we're going to try to go ahead and really hone our focus in on actually being able to add in, uh, well, okay, fine. I need to, oh, a narwhal. No. I resisted evil last time. I resisted evil, and I did not get the giant clam from the trawler. I held my ground, believing that one day we will be able to get one from the rescue ship. I don't need, I don't need narwhals. I don't need giraffe narwhals. I don't need peacock narwhals. I don't need fox narwhals. I don't need panda narwhals. No, 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 no. Oh dear. That, okay, that's really tempting. That's very tempting, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but that's okay, because we, we're, we're gonna stick to the to-do list today. We're gonna, we're gonna focus, and we are absolutely, positively not going to be distracted by the lure of being able to actually go ahead and get giant clams so that we could have a pearl farm. Totally not unlocking the pearl farm. Totally not staring at the pearl farm. Totally, totally not. Look, no, I was just here for the sea grapes. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yep, just, yep, that's all. Also, oh dear. Oh, we do need extra animal undertakers though. <laughs> So we might need to have more of those people uh, helping us out in a little bit here. Um, but all of that said, we're not even halfway done unlocking all the research we could have for this place. Whoa! Pearl Harvest? <clears throat> the Deep Sea Daily. Pearl Harvest. Everyone loves a pearl, but we often forget that these shiny jewels of the sea are taken from living animals. Through normal harvesting, clams are often killed for their pearls, which is why the aquarium decided to do something about it. Rather than try to ban pearls, they developed a sonic vibration facility that massages the clams, causing them to eject their pearls naturally. We discovered that not only can we harvest more pearls this way, but from monitoring the clams, we determined that they can—they are actually very relaxed and enjoy the experience thoroughly," said marine biologist Miss Lee. She continued, We hope this set sets an example to the world that we can find sustainable alternatives for almost anything. Look at how cute it is! I love it! The future of clams shines pearly white as the aquarium reveals technology that paves the way for a symbolic, uh, uh, uh yeah, symbiotic relationship with these animals. That would be amazing. Also, sea grape wine from Sir Vinter. That's really funny. Why, dare I say, you are the person I've been looking for. As a winemaker of the highest order, many famous vineyards are no longer producing enough grapes for me. Probably due to climate change, no joke. People say that it's global warming. I call hogwash to that. I think the birds are taking them for the government. Uh, oh. <laughs> the birds are all drones, you see. Anyway, to replace this shortfall, I'm inventing sea grape wine. It's going to be a new salty wine that will taste like drinking cheese and wine all at once. Can you grow 50 plots of sea grapes on your land? Sure, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, everybody needs hobbies, right? And my hobby is not going to be getting that narwhal and that giant clam from the trawler and instead, whoops a doops Okay, that's just one of the anglerfish. Is that the female anglerfish or is that just another male? I think it's another male. That reminds me that in a day we have a frilled shark who is potentially going to be arriving. Uh, and I probably need to get it its own tiny little enclosure that I'm gonna stick somewhere. Uh, but in any case, I'm going to very thoroughly and carefully ignore the pearl farm and the giant clam that the, um, and the narwhal that the trawler has right now. We will go just casually come over here to look and see completely casual like, uh, <gasps> female frilled shark and another sperm whale. I don't know if we need more sperm whales, but we could probably release it to the wild. Um, so 
it could like actually like help out with the population. We are gonna need a new exhibit for the field shark, so I should probably build that right now before I forget. Oh, okay, so that's gonna be open ocean. Um, and where should I put it? Cause this was gonna be like my, my farming zone and I was gonna just kind of vaguely block it off on this side. Should I put the, cause I was gonna do something like this and then I was gonna do that, let's see. Well, that was gonna be my farming zone. <laughs> okay, let's see, open ocean, open ocean. Maybe I need a new area for my catfish or maybe I need to split. Well, eventually I'll probably have lots of hammerheads. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> All right, the frilled sharks. I did want to have a spot where people could like come over. Okay, what if I do it like this? Yes. Uh, I'm okay. That's okay, I think. And so we'll move the frilled sharks over here. Um, but I really did want to have it so that I had a whole bunch of of the like water uh, farms, the wetlands farms over here. This place isn't pretty. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, calm down, calm down. I don't really like it right there, to be honest. Edit enclosure. Oh, I can, oh my gosh. <gasps> when did this, oh, this is so beautiful. This makes me very happy. All right, look, we're gonna scooch it over. Oh no, my sand. Did you know how long it takes me to put the sand back down in this thing? Oh, all right, somebody hand me a shovel. All right, let's get this down here and just put the sand back where it belongs. This is Suwanee Beaches. It needs sand. Thank you very much. Um, and we have a lot of money now, which is good. Uh, but we need more shops so that we can have more bins. So that, well, we need more shops and bins so that we have the people we have arriving spend their money at the shops. Bear with me. I know this is convoluted. But they need to spend money at the shops to get stuff. And then when they have trash in their hands from the stuff, we need them to put that trash into the bins. And we need that to happen so that we can save the world. Yes, I'm, I'm suggesting that capitalism might save the world. Look, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. That's just, that's just the name of the game of the bacteria farm, okay? <laughs> Where we need to have enough bacteria that is produced from the trash collected from all of the bins in the zoo that we can actually release those bacteria units into the ocean to hopefully help be able to clean it up. So that means we need more trash, which means that we probably need more shops. So let's take a little peek at, uh, ooh, I forgot about the Taiyaki stand. <gasps> that would be so much fun. And we also have the shark bite bar. So if it's the last drink shop and then add automaton, uh, add automation to all drink shops, serving customers 10% faster. Oh my gosh, let's get the shark bite bar. And then we also have, there's a shop for the jeweler, which we need a lot more points for. And then there's the Taiyaki stand. And there's probably quite a few more like hiding around the place. We're just gonna need to figure out like where they are in the research. All right, so, okay, okay, okay. Um, I guess if people are complaining, unspent research points. No, 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 I just you spent them. Don't, don't distract me, I'm busy. Uh, let's see. It's really hard to decide what to do because <laughs> there's so much happening. Let's just pick my favorite then. Let's just like pick one of the, the fun little shops and then we'll just start decorating with it. Um, and in this case, <gasps> Orfish. No, I wasn't gonna be distracted. Oh, jeez, I forgot about the vet. Okay, we need to hire a vet real quick. All right, so first thing in the morning, we're gonna go ahead and level 29 with no work ethic vet. Uh, level 25, no work ethic. Level 29, no work ethic. Carla, please. Oh my gosh, you're hired. Fifth, level 15, 17, don't care, don't care. Carla, hi, how you doing? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna yank that politeness and job satisfaction through the roof, aren't we? Yeah, look at that. Isn't it awesome what happens when you go ahead and just throw gobsmacks amounts of money to people? I think her work ethic went up as a result too. So now we have a vet. Yeah, so there's one thing down. And then let's pop over to the world map. And now, oarfish. Deep ocean oarfish, and also another angler fish, which is interesting. So we'll put those guys in here. I think I have like four male. Yes, I have four male angler fish now. <laughs> I can probably think about releasing some of them to the wild sooner than later. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and check the research hub. Let's get the Tayaki stand. 
And I wonder what else might I be able to give to people? I guess I'll save up for the jeweler because that's a gift shop zone. But it just is curious. It's like, where could the other pieces be hiding? Where could the other shops be? <gasps> the anemones! I forgot about the sea anemones! And then we could get coffee beans, which would allow us to produce our coffee in-house. And maybe we'll get the ATM commission, because that would help out with the money thing too. But not the bacteria producing thing. All right, so let's pick my favorite shop <laughs> now that we have been thoroughly distracted. Uh, oh, dang it, and now the frill sharks arrive. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. That's amazing. That's fine. It's not like I was I was trying not to get distracted. It's not like I was trying to be a good Siri. Yep. All right, so we're going to actually move our wonderful frilled shark, Peanut, over here. Yay! There you go, Peanut. Now hopefully you won't eat anything, um, which I think we were a little worried about. Like the goblin shark, it can thrust its jaws from its mouth. While it looks and behaves more like an eel, it is most certainly a shark. Oh, that's so cool. We definitely need to do a little bit more research about the frilled sharks, look into them, look into how they behave. I would really love to learn more information just to share with you guys casually too. For now, let's make sure that we have a little bit of enrichment. Oh no, somebody died again. Tasha, rest in peace, Tasha. Also, there's our other frilled shark. So Winter, the female frilled shark is just, boom. We immediately have a couple frilled shark just like that. I, I love that. Holy moly, or holy mahi mahi, I guess I should say. Um, wow, okay. Crisper, do you have my female anglerfish, please? Let's find out. And then once we finish with finding out if this is a male or female anglerfish and setting the crisper to its next project, we'll put in a project of putting in some shops and restrooms over in what we're gonna call um, the shark abyss, because look at this. It's so, so surrounded by water on all sides. And if we enclose this area too, then we'll be set. <gasps> yes, it's Alexis, the female anglerfish. We're gonna have anglerfish babies, you guys. Boom, that's very exciting. Oh my gosh. And that means that we can actually go ahead. <gasps> okay, let me think. Actually, we don't have a cod mate, do we? Oh my gosh, and are we still, uh-oh. King? Porky. Oh no, our catfish are getting old. <laughs> I can't believe they have to clone a catfish instead of being able to go ahead and have a moon jelly and an anglerfish crossbreed. But we need to make sure we have sustainable populations of our animals, just because, just because. Uh, all right, so speaking of sustainable, let's see, anything else I wanna put over into this new area we're creating? Invertebrate lights. Oh my gosh, is that a shark subway? We have to get that for the shark abyss. <gasps> and there's another boat radar upgrade. I didn't think there were any left. Oh, that's gonna be so exciting. All right, so we're gonna come in and we're gonna turn this corridor area into a shopping bonanza because capitalism's going to save the ocean somehow. Uh, that being said, we can put in the shark bite bar. We can try to sneak in like the moon jelly desserts. We can put in, I guess, a tiny little fish and chips shop somewhere or a teyaki. Oh my gosh, that's huge. <laughs> Maybe we won't do the teyaki stand. Maybe we'll stick to things that seem like they belong in the depths of the abyss, like the terrarium store. And then once we have all of those pieces in, hopefully we'll be getting a little bit more cash and a little bit more trash. Cash and trash, that's what we're after this time. Let's see. All right, we haven't had the shark. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> it's so cool. It has a little shark swimming around in the top of it. Uh, Hey, Billy, we can get your politeness up. I'm not worried about that now that I'm in just throwing gobs of money at random employees. All right, come here, Billy. We're gonna get your politeness all the way through the roof so that you have very high job satisfaction and so that people leave positive reviews. Oh dear. On Yelp or Kelp or, oh my gosh, can you imagine a aquarium review? like website called kelp i i kind of love that i'm smiling because i know my husband's going to cringe so bad at that pun oh hello whale boy he has a task for us called big brain can you capture a blue whale i've already practiced my whale song and i'm ready to start communicating with the mightiest being on the planet i want to learn from a mammal with a bigger brain than me we're not going to capture 
like big brained child. Oh, I want that king crab so bad, or the spider crab so bad. All right, Billy, please keep things going here at the Shark Bite Cafe. And then let's also put in. There's only like the fish and chips is small. There's moon jelly desserts, which is too big. Then we have the terrarium store, which is just right. And I like it. Uh, holy work ethic and level. Dallas here is apparently a professional at, at, well, customer service across the counter. Oh dear. Look, you deserve this bonus I'm, I'm handing over, okay? Yeah, yeah, here, here, here. We're gonna give you like the biggest bonus and I don't, I don't care because you have to work with a customer facing thing, selling stuff to customers. <sighs> Good luck, Dallas. Hopefully the gobs of money we threw at that will actually help out. Uh, and we're going to need some trash cans. I should really just put some trash cans down really quickly. Recycling bins, seal bins. I'm just going to put a seal bin in really quickly so that we at least get it started in a few spots. There we go. There, just in case. And then we're, oh, oh, that's right, new animal. Oh my gosh, the orfish, the orfish is here. <gasps> She's beautiful. Can you imagine an orfish crossbred with a wolf? Oh, that's going to be just absolutely, completely and utterly glorious. <gasps> and it's two hammerhead sharks and a female catfish. Not going all in the same habitat, don't worry. But this is so thrilling. See, I knew that being good and ignoring the lure of all of the different animals that we could be snagging uh, over with the trawler was going to pay off eventually. All right, meanwhile, I'm gonna just put my head down and focus for a minute on, okay, can't get that. You know what? You know what? That's actually pretty cute. That's actually pretty cute. That little restroom right over there. I think that's adorable. Uh, ooh, look at the ice castle. <gasps> the jellyfish lanterns are so cool. The giant conch. Oh my gosh, I love that giant conch. <laughs> the seashells are so pretty. We have the aquarium arches as well. Oh, this is so fun. Let's see. And I think I can actually force people to like go through the aquarium arch when they get in here. The, sh the seashell rope light. Make your part beautiful. Whoa, that does make it beautiful. I could even make it, oh good. It would face me no matter what direction we put it on. Wow, I didn't know people can actually get around the edge of the shop because I was thinking they were gonna come out of the subway, like the one in the middle right here. And if they're gonna completely ignore it, wow. Huh, we'll, we'll debate about how we wanna lay that out. All right, let's pop back over to our research tabs because before I start putting things down, let's grab these well, the wave benches. <gasps> a pasta shop! Oh, that's so interesting. And if we unlock two more food shops, then the food will get made a lot faster, which would be very useful. Um, I mean, oh, and we need the, oh, the boat upgrade. I can't believe I forgot about the boat up. Oh my gosh, feed me pasta. <laughs> you people have so many quests for me all of a sudden. My goodness, seeing all these creatures makes me hungry. I really want to eat something related to the exhibits. You mean the kelp? Please bring a squid ink pasta restaurant. Build a squid ink pasta restaurant I will visit every day. Gin? Sure, but it's gonna be like synthetic squid ink. Just saying. <sighs> Alright, I have more greenery in my garden back home. You hush! <laughs> I'm normally all over the greenery. I'm just trying to make sure before I make permanent decisions here, I actually am able to go ahead and put down decorations that I like. That's what's happening. Now I can, oh, I can block this off and force people through this little, this little spot. I'm gonna show you guys what to do. Like, fuss at me, will you? Fuss at me, will you? I'm gonna make you go through this tiny little like subway area instead of this awkward giant queue in a circle that you have created. Uh, and we're gonna just wiggle over here and I'm just gonna... All right, where's my... Where's my stuff? Okay, there we go. Huh? What do you guys think about that? Can't go this way now, can you? You have to come through this subway part. You have to go ahead and walk through my arch of aquari aquatic wonders. Hmm? There. That'll, that'll show them, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this admittedly delightfully chaotic adventure. If you guys would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. Try to stay kind to yourself even when people are yelling at you about not having enough kelp for like their garden. 
rude much. And most importantly, stay curious. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.